So dear, I understand you are able to go to that place of silence within you when you are meditating. But it gets disturbed by thoughts. Can you explain? Can you tell us one thought that disturbed you today? One thought that has been harassing me for... Centuries? Yes. <laughs> um, is that I don't like my mother to have her addictions and to live a very unhealthy life. Hmm. When you're sitting with your eyes closed, the thought is passing by. Would you call that thought in that moment a dream or reality? It's a dream. She's not here. There's, I'm in India, she's in Germany. It must be a dream. When you are in front of her, is it a dream or reality then? Your thoughts? It's still a dream. We understand that the thoughts in which we get lost, we get involved, they they are like dreams only. We are all the time engaging with those thoughts, experiencing those thoughts only. Isn't it? Would you, when you got it this morning, would you say that was relevant in that moment? No. Important? Not, not at all. I understand that from one perspective, it may be relevant and important that it's helping us do the work. Useful? Not in that moment when I'm sitting and meditating or whatever, doing something else. It's not the time for it. So it doesn't help me. It's not useful. Useful at any point of time? Remaining lost in a certain thought? No, never. Is it conducive to your peace? It's the opposite. It's making me restless. It's making me sad. Hmm. Hmm. And Stephanie, do you think it's about that single thought itself or it's about the thoughting itself, irrelevance, usefulness, futility that is not conducive to peace. The thoughting in general. Hmm. And do you want to be peaceful? Yes, absolutely. Are you out of this thought? No, it keeps coming back. You have such a good heart, dear. What are the likes and dislikes? Can you please share? Well, there are many of them I discovered today. Um, what good work you have done. Um, I like my mother to give up on her addictions. I don't like my mother to take drugs. Um, I like my mother to live a healthy life. I don't like my mother to be careless about her mind as well as her body. Um, I would like my mother to be sattvic and I don't like my mother to be quite tamasic and confused. And um, I like her to understand and know about health issues and what I found pretty interesting is that I feel that she should practically live her life the way I live my life. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't like it that she's doing it her way and she's destroying her health and I don't like that she's in pain. And yeah, I don't like seeing all that. 
remaining attached with these dislikes these likes what else arises in your mind well the consequential feelings are anger and helplessness and restlessness of course and then there always steps in a certain feeling of superiority towards her i'm looking down on to her which is not nice but i somehow feel that i know better mm-hmm. and i think i think it it it's coming from a place of compassion in you caring partly <laughs> <laughs> other parts just think that i know better and i'm more wise and she's less wise yeah and you do know better <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't solve the problem <laughs> <laughs> hmm do you want to be peaceful yes i want to be peaceful remaining attached with likes and dislikes can you be peaceful I can't. It's always going to make me restless. And does it serve any purpose? Does she listen to you? Not really. No. But sometimes she just for, you know, making you happy, she must be saying, "Okay, I will try." Yeah. But then the very next day she forgot. She forgets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So given a choice, if you are asked your peace freedom or attachment with likes and dislikes what do you go for my peace because those attachments don't bring me anywhere can Except there be hell maybe yeah. <laughs> yeah can there be anything more important in life than being peaceful no within oneself what are your incompleteness equations well that would be i plus a mother without addictions would be complete but me plus a mother with her addictions um equals incompleteness or me plus a mother in pain would be incompleteness while i minus a mother in pain would be completeness or me plus a satvik mother hmm. equals completeness while me plus a tamasic mother is incompleteness did you give birth to your mother no <laughs> <laughs> hmm hmm Do you think if this these desires are fulfilled one fine day will that be a sufficient reason for you to get lasting peace No it might give me peace for a day or so but then she should meditate also now that she is not addicted Of course she should meditate <laughs> <laughs> But if she starts that there's something else will come up so the the lasting part is the problem that's not going to happen you know we have heard even seen that even in those communities where everybody meditates they are all quarreling with each other all the time <laughs> nothing much changes who wants to do meditation for changing for growing you know just watching the breathing just watching the sensations and just watching some chakras that's it and now let's bitch about others <laughs> <laughs> what is your own history My own history is that I have had many desires throughout my life and many of them have been fulfilled and 
none of those fulfillment gave me lasting peace. Temporary, maybe, you know, for a minute or two or a day, but that's it. And even about the sattvic desires, you may say that? This compassion for your mother is sattva. Even that does not bring peace. No. You know, within the word compassion, there's passion. and <laughs> <laughs> Passion has not so much to do with balance and peace, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. This was good. <laughs> Are you holding on to anything permanent that lasts forever? No. Impossible, because nothing is permanent, right? Is incompleteness conducive to freedom? No, it's not. What is conducive to freedom then? Letting go, accepting. Hmm. You know, there is... Uh, I have forgotten the name of that book. It's a wonderful book on Ho Pono Pono. Suruchi knows the name. Zero Limits. Zero Limits. And uh, the guy, the, the author, asks you to say four sentences about everything that you're facing in life. Suruchi? I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And then see yourself complete within yourself. Filled with light of completeness, oneness. And see your mother one with you. And this person has changed so many lives just by this exercise. It will be a much better service than just doing the, the just, just revolving around it in your thoughtings. I love you, mother. I'm sorry that I am not, I was not able to accept you. Please forgive me. Thank you for being a part of my life. I love this situation. I'm sorry that I did not understand earlier why it was given to me. It was actually helpful for me. Please forgive me, nature, my mind, that I was living in thoughting, not thinking. And thank you, thank you, nature, thank you, God, if you believe in God, for giving me the situation so that I can grow. What are the conditionings, dear? The conditionings are that one should not take drugs, one should not destroy oneself, one should live a healthy life, one should be as pure and reasonable as possible, um, one shouldn't be in pain. Hmm. Hmm. Um, one should know about one's health. Reality? Well, there are people with addictions. There are drugs in this world and people take them. Many people don't take care of their health. Most of them, perhaps. Yeah. Also their mental health, as we have discussed. Um, yeah, mm. they do have addictions, they, they somehow destroy themselves, they have diseases, they die early. That's it's not nice, but it's reality. Right, 
right there so i understand your conditionings are mere notions mere fiction that is not supported by reality no if you hold on to them how do you feel heavy not free give me one reason to continue holding on to them there is no reason any reason to drop them all the reasons there are if you drop them what will be the experience like it makes me feel much lighter and free and peaceful and how do you feel towards your mother actually better because i'm in a position to give my best and um i'm in a state of balance to face her and her character and i'm not blaming her anymore or judging mm mm who is stopping you well my own crooked mind <laughs> <laughs> it's not crooked your your compassion with passion in it <laughs> well it has been my mind yeah and is it your business that people should not take drugs they should be aware they should take care of their health actually not it's their business why do they do like that Well, they have their qualities, and they have their lives, and they are fine with the way they are living, or not. But they, I guess, they have no other choice, right? It's their right mind dear. dictating. Right there, the yeah, right there. Hmm. What is your business? True business. My business is to work on myself. and this is something i realized today that was like a key moment that it's so so important to do the work really every day because you step back into this trap so easily going back to right there right daily there. life yes i need to work i need to meditate i need to do the work right there i need to be very aware and mindful while dealing with other people and yeah yeah and let's let's see what turn arounds we can come up with people should not have addictions well for example i shouldn't be addicted to wanting to change others right dear yes yes so right um people should, should be sat quick yeah i should be as sat quick as possible and, and not be and the epitome of sattva is getting established in blissful awareness yeah living in the laws of peace with no ifs no buts in the mind i should work on my health also my mental health which yes. is meditation again yes 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 so now that you know that this is your business why should you give it up ever there is no reason to give it up right dear so every day for you it's 18 hours a day while you are asleep it's okay you 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 have no control but the whole day the work should continue somebody asked shankaracharya he was a great great teacher how long should i meditate until you go to bed until you die and that's for you that's for me that's for all of us until we go to bed until we die thank you so much dear thank you thank you thank you thank you